Hey friends, welcome to our Petite Citrine Co. Colby So Long Day One. Um, I'm, I'm loving this pattern. I am really excited. I tested this pattern out um, for them during testing and I will admit that I never thought that I would post a picture of myself in a bra on Facebook, but here we are. I have done it now because the Colby, it's just such an empowering, comfortable bra. And the one that I made, I didn't add any like elastic to it or anything. And it supported me really, really well. And I really appreciated it and loved it. And I was like, you know what? I have to share it with everybody. So um, I'm, I'm really happy and excited to sew, sew this up with you this week. Um, I apologize. I have been sick for the past week and a half and um, it's kind of turned into a sinus infection and I'm still really stuffy and my voice is um, kind of gravelly and I'm coughing a lot and sniffling a lot and I'm really, really sorry about all that. Um, I, but I, I had to come sew this with y'all. I, I couldn't not do it. So I put on my big girl panties, I put on my big, my Colby <laughs> and I came out here and we're gonna sew this up and I'm really excited because it's just such an awesome pattern. It's so quick and easy, but it makes you feel great. So I'm really excited to um, sew this up with you all this week. Um, we're also, we're running this in conjunction, conjunction with the um, Petite Citrine Co. Tristan leggings. So if you are also interested in sewing those up, um, those will be in another um, playlist here on YouTube, but those videos will be here as well. We're gonna sew them up together and um, yeah, I'm excited. It's gonna be a great week, great sewing. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, so the first thing though that I wanna share with you all, today we are just doing, um, sorry, <laughs> we're just printing and prepping our patterns today. So um, really quick, what I wanted to show, um, to share with y'all is that um, there's actually a couple of things. So the great thing about Petite Stitchery & Co. is their patterns all have a, um, a print page. So if you just need size A, you don't have to print out all the um, pages, which I really love. So if you're printing it out, make sure you check the size that you are and um, just print out that size you need. Um, it's really great. <laughs> it's a great, great feature. So you're not wasting a ton of paper. Um, the next thing I kind of want to talk about, we'll talk about fabric and notions tomorrow, but the next thing I want to talk about is measuring. Um, I'm going to stop sharing my screen here for just a second. Um, because I think this is really, really important, especially when making, um, bras, um, whether you're making a bra or buying a bra, bra, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Anyways, it's always good to have the best fit possible, um, for you, for your health, for your comfort, everything. Um, and sometimes I think we just guess like, oh yeah, I need this size or yeah, I think about this cup or something. Um, but I always recommend to measure yourself once every, um, probably about once every quarter, measure your bra size um, just to see like, oh yeah, things have changed. I might want to adjust up or adjust down or I'm good. I'm, I'm good to stay the same. But I just kind of want to walk through really quick measuring yourself for, um, for your bra. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you are going to want to measure your upper bust. Um, and your upper bust is right kind of where, you know, if you lift your armpits up, it's right there. And you just want to measure it to see how far your upper bust is or your high bust, um, whatever you want to call it. Um, so you want to measure that and mark that measurement down because it's really important later on. <laughs> so the next thing you want to do is you're going to want to next measure your, oh, sorry, your full bust. So that's right around, for no better word, right um, where your nipples are going to be, um, but right the apex of your bust. You want to just measure that right there. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take the measurement fr from your full bust, your high bust, 
and the measurement from your full bust and then count the difference, what it is. So like mine was, my high bust was 43 and my um, full bust was 48. So 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. So that's five inch difference. So now each one of those is gonna correspond to a different cup size. So you have A, B, C, D, double D. So um, the, higher, the higher or lower number you have, that'll correspond with the cup size that you need to make. Um, and that's really, really important. So that's why measuring your high bust accurately is really important and then measuring your full bust accurately is really important. And then next you want to measure your um, under bust or lower bust. Um, and that is going to tell you the band size that you need. So that's always really good. I just told everybody on YouTube this size for eyewear. Awkward. Anyways, so that's um, those are all really important measurements, especially when you're making your own bra wear. But even just going out and buying a bra, it's really, really important. Um, I used to work at Victoria's Secret and I can't tell you how many how many people walked in and we would have to, you know, they would say, oh, I'm this size and mm, let's measure you. And they'd be like, I had no idea. Um, even personally, I think sometimes I I get in places where I just don't, I don't care. Like, I don't want to know maybe. Um, but, and then I just, or I'm like, oh yeah, I just kind of guesstimate. And then I buy a bra and it fits horribly and I always regret it. So I always recommend if you are buying a bra or making a bra, um, just always measure yourself beforehand because you never know. Little things can change too. I mean, it doesn't take much. So those measurements are always really important. And again, right kind of where your armpits meet, that's going to be your upper bust, the apex. And then right underneath is going to be your lower bust. So those measurements are always really, really important. So make sure you have those in hand before you pick your, um, your cup and your band size. Um, but once you have your cup and your band size figured out, the next thing we're going to do, oops, I don't know what's going on here. Go away, you. I have no idea what I did there. Um, we're going to go down to our pattern. And here, um, you'll see, here's our page one. We're going to come over to these um, stacked pages, if you will, on the left-hand side of our screen. We're going to click that, and you'll notice that all the sizes now are up. Right now, it's showing us every size from 28 to 50. We don't need those. We need the size band versus or the size of the band that you need. So if you measured, say your band was 37 inches, you want to measure, you want to round down to 36. Um, just because you'd rather have it be a little bit snugger than too loose. Um, trust me. Too loose things don't 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 hang quite properly, so um, you'll just go through and uncheck all the other ones that you don't want, and now you're just stuck. Stuck. Now you're just left with the size that you need um, to to print um, to make. So again, you don't have to go through and print out every single page. Print just the cup that you need, the cup size that you need, and then the band. Um, if you're thinking, oh, I'm going to make these bras for everybody I know, one thing I do recommend doing then is printing what I call a master copy, where you just leave everything checked and you print out the entire pattern. And then you take, what I like to do is I take, um, it's called um, medical exam paper, I believe. I get it on Amazon in bulk in bulk. Um, but it's nice because it's nice and see-through, but it's also meant to stand up for people, you know, to people sitting and laying on it and whatnot. Pardon me. So it goes through, um, so it's pretty sturdy, you know, it can last through several uses and being folded. And, um, so that's really great if you end up doing a, um, master copy, if you think, oh yeah, I'm going to make this for a bunch of people or, um, whatnot. I apologize again. 
the next thing I want to talk about with um, printing your pattern is before you go and print out the entire thing or the pages that you need, I always recommend printing out the first page that's got this one by one. Um, why am I drawing a blank on this? Anyways, this one by one box that um, will help you check the scale and make sure you're printing at the proper size. So what you'll do is you'll come over to print or control P and you'll make sure that actual size is selected. You don't want custom scale. You don't want for If you have custom scale, if it's at 100%, it's it's okay. But I I always just do actual size. You don't want fit. You don't want shrink. Um, you want it to print at the full size that it needs to be. And then, like I said, always print out just this first page. Check this one by one box. <coughs> I'm, I apologize. Check this one by one box. Make sure that it's accurate, that it's complete, that it's one by one, not three fourths of an inch or um, an inch and a quarter, not even like an inch and an eighth. Um, if it's not accurate, your fit is not going to be accurate no matter what you do. So always make sure that that is correct. Um, the other thing that I like about Petite Citrine Co's patterns is that they are non trim pages. So what you'll do is you'll see these circles with the um, crosses in them. You are going to line those crosses up, the center of those crosses up. What I like to do, a little trick, is I take a hole punch and I just punch a hole right in the middle of the page that I'm going to lay on top of the next page. Um, it creates just a little window so that then I can see exactly that those line up perfectly. Um, so that's something that I really like to do as well. Um, the other thing about Petite Stitcher Co. that I really love is that they have amazing, amazing projector patterns. <laughs> um, I love their projector patterns. Just like their paper patterns, you have layers so you can uncheck the sizes that you don't need. Um, the thing that I love about their projector patterns as well is that they have um, uh, converted inverted inverted <laughs> they have inverted colorings in the projector projector file as well so an inverted layer so if you are pre projecting and it's the middle of the day um you can um you don't have to turn off all the lights or anything because the inverted the inverted layer so here it is um you can't really see it great right now because i've messed with my um my settings for another pattern my accessibility settings, settings, but usually this is a black background with these lighter, um, here you can kind of see with the lighter um, lines. And it's really, really nice. I love it when I'm projecting um, in, in the daytime. I love natural light. So turning my lights off always drives me nuts. Um, the other thing I love about this is that they're, um, they have unfolded pieces. So like this band, I don't have to worry about folding it just accurately. It's unfolded for me so I can just lay my fabric right out. With bands and stuff, it's not quite as important. I, I prefer it when it's a top and if I'm using a panel or something. Um, but that's what I absolutely love, their projector patterns. Uh, the other thing I recommend, just like with their paper patterns, always check your um, one inch box or, um, you know, you can do the one inch grid if you, if that's just easier and faster. Um, but always check that your percentage uh, rate, that your percentage year that you are casting or projecting at is accurate. Other words, again, just like with the paper pattern, it's not going to be a correct fit, even if it's just slightly off. So always check that because if your computer did an update that you don't know, or if Adobe did an update and you didn't realize it, it can change even just a tiny minute bit. Um, just a couple of weeks ago, I usually project at 50%. And then a couple of weeks ago, I was like, this doesn't seem quite right. And I checked it. And sure enough, I had to change it to 49. I mean, it was just one little tiny percentage, but it was enough to make it off a little bit. So. Um, always check that before you cut. It's just better. I mean, better to be safe than sorry, right? <laughs> but that's it for today. Just my little tips on patterns. 
um, prepping them and getting them ready. And then tomorrow we are going to be cutting out our fabric and I'm really excited to see um, all the different fabrics everybody's making, using and um, I just can't wait. This fabric day is my favorite day. I love fabric. In case you can't tell, <laughs> I love fabric. So fabric day is always kind of my favorite because I get to see what everybody has and like, hmm, I think I need some of that. <laughs> but um, yeah, this has been great. I hope that it was helpful and I will see you tomorrow when we cut fabric. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.